in my past videos, I showcase my version of burn team. But some of you complain about how it is not a proper burn team, not using the proper burn IDs, and just ego spam. So here it is, the full burn team. The goal of this burn team is not to produce the most burn and burn count, but to maximize the damage from burn. The key difference here is this unit right here. Ryoshu can deal more damage the more burn the enemies have, up to 20 burn. Here is the difference between zero burn stack with some burn stack. While it seems like it's not much, the edit value of this skill is pretty good. So, for full burn team experience, here are my new and improved teams. First of all, the core of the team, Ryoshu, is still in. You can use any ID you want, but I choose Kurakumo Ryoshi here, mainly for her bleed, which I will tell you later. The main gimmick of her is taking enough burn for her to have her Forge March Flame buff in full, which is 20. Moving on on the second character, it's the only great burn unit currently, because she has good ID and ego for burn, and it is Liu Ishmael. While she is an average clasher with only 10, 16, and 15 clash power, she deals quite a lot of damage and burn, but her real strength lies on her passives, which give a lot of bonus blunt damage, and her ego, Ardor Blossom Star, that can deal massive damage and give a lot of burn to three enemies. Then, onto the next one, we have Enclair. Why? Because he can burn and deal a lot of damage. That's all to be completely honest. What more you need? He's able to inflict 5 burn if the target have 5 bleed. And that's why I use Kurakumo Ryoshu. The next one might seem a bit weird, but I use Ross Penrodion. The only explanation is she, she doesn't, doesn't have, have any, any burn, burn ID. ID. And her burn ego for March Flame is very good cause she inflicts 6 burn and 3 red fragility for 3 units next turn. Then, the rest are the burn IDs, which is Liu Mersault, Liu Gregor, and Li Honglu. Liu Mersault has a great burn ID, Kaput, but is a single target burn, but it is pretty good with Ross Penerodia. Meanwhile, Liu Gregor and Honglu are, to be completely honest, dog shit units, but they give burn, so it is a good thing, right? My threats. I tested the team with Mirror Dungeon 2 hard run and around 10 normal Mirror Dungeon 2 runs and here are the results. The good thing about this team is the amount of burn this team can inflict. It took me only 2 turns with gifts for me to deal 99 burn with 9 burn count. The boss took 99 damage each turn, which in my opinion is great addition of damage, but I wish we could have more than 99 stack of burn. But there are some issues with the team as well. As some of you might have guessed, Ego Resource Consumption. Currently, the game does not have a good dedicated Red Eagle gifts, unlike some scenes like Blue Zebo Lighter and Grand Welcome. Sure, there is gifts like Perversion, Child Within a Flask, and this fragment. But considering how much the team consume Red Resource, it is not enough, especially if you want to cruise through Mirror Dungeon. I think it might be good for Refraction Railway where you need to burst few enemies in a turn or two. The next one is some of them are just worse IDs than some of their alternatives. Look at Liu Gregor, Liu Mersault, and Neil Honglu. I don't think they will see much light and definitely not a good investment compared to other IDs, such as Reino Mersault and Ting Tang or Korakumo Honglu. But this is just a preliminary thought based on Reflection Railway 1. Overall, the team has potential, but it's not there yet with current units. I am hoping to see more units use burn for more damage like Ryoshu or use it to apply other status like Mersot Kapot. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!